Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In this segment, let's journey back to the early 20th century to explore one of the most notorious war criminals in world history. This man rose in the ranks of the Third German Reich to become the second most powerful man in Nazi Germany behind Adolf Hitler. He was part of the notorious inner circle of Nazi Germany that plotted the complete extermination of the Jews and total world domination under the absolute authority of Nazi Germany. Indeed, the brave men of the United States, Great Britain, and their allies, had they not stopped them, this man may have ruled the world. Let's explore the second in command of Nazi Germany, Heinrich Himmler. Like Hitler, Himmler entered the infant Nazi party at a young age in the 1920s. Himmler also shared Hitler's insatiable desire for total world domination. In 1934, Hitler put Himmler in charge of the German secret police, known as the Gestapo. Thanks to Himmler, the Gestapo allowed Hitler to gain total control over the German nation, giving him the springboard for his quest of world domination. During World War II, Himmler was in charge of the German campaign into the Soviet Union. This is where we see Himmler truly on display with his sinister nature when during the middle of the war, he began to oversee the Nazi concentration camps in Poland. Please don't miss the horror of what happened at these places where many, many humans were murdered in every which way simply because they were considered inferior. This, along with Himmler's oversight of German Gestapo and other secretive military and terrorist campaigns, contributed to Himmler's legacy as a true historical villain. And as so often happens to alliances made up of villains when things don't go their way, Hitler and Himmler began to turn against one another as the Allies gained the upper hand late in the war. Himmler wanted his secret police organization to grow in power, so much so that he allegedly attempted to unsuccessfully to murder another one of Hitler's inner circle, Albert Speer. And of course, he began to see Hitler as less of an ally and more of an obstacle to his own quest for power. Finally, in 1945, it soon became clear that Himmler vied to replace Hitler as head of the Nazi party. Both men knew that Nazi Germany was doomed, but Hitler would not give up his position so easily. He commanded his men to arrest Himmler, but Himmler escaped undercover only to be arrested instead by the Allies. Hitler committed suicide several days before Germany's official surrender, but Himmler lived long enough to see the Third Reich fall. He finally took his own life as well, poisoning himself while in Allied captivity on May 23, 1945, two weeks after Germany's surrender to the Allies. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.